Hi, this is the second tutorial on HTML to WordPress, which is an e-learning website to tell, teach you how to convert your HTML site into a WordPress one. So in the previous video screencast, we've installed a local Apache server on our computers. So now remember that WordPress requires two things to work. The first is the Apache server with PHP installed, and then the second part is a MySQL database. Well, so the next step would obviously to be setting up our uh, MySQL database. So for those of you using a local server, you will need to open up PHP MyAdmin. I'll explain how you go about doing that in a little bit. Now for those of you accessing a live server, you can create your database in cPanel or in whatever method that your web host provides in order to create new databases. Okay, so for people using um, the Mac version, the MAMP, what you need to do is go and open up the start page on MAMP. So if you're faced with this window, just click on open start page. And you will be greeted with this page. And now just go down and click on right here. Um, access PHP MyAdmin and you're in the PHP MyAdmin panel. Now for a uh, Windows user, if you're using the uh, WinAmp, what you do is uh, you can access a PHP MyAdmin if you left click on the um, WAMP server icon in the tray. So the tray will probably be located down here at the bottom of your screen somewhere. And it should, uh, once you open up that menu, it should be the second link down from the top. Okay, so after you got into PHP MyAdmin, things will look very similar uh, regardless of whether you're on a Mac or a PC. So what you need to do is create a new database. Uh, this database should obviously be called something other than WordPress. Um, this is for security reason because you don't want people or hackers um, guessing what your database name is. So um, name is something short but um, not so easy to guess. So I don't know, short, difficult name. Something like that, okay? And then in, uh, for the rest of the settings, you can leave them be, just don't touch them. So on collation and UTF-8, okay? And now a um, second thing you need to do is um, to uh, jot down the name of your database because we'll need it to set up WordPress. So the easiest thing I like to do is just to open up like text edit or notepad if you're on Windows and just copy that name. So this is the database name. Plunk it down there. And now you can just hit the create button. Right, now uh, PHP MyAdmin will tell you that database, whatever it's called, has been created. Perfect. Now the thing you need to do is go into privileges and then create a new user account to access this database. Again, this step is done uh, for security reasons. Because right now, the only person that can access it is through roots. And obviously, um, the root account is not something you want to be using because if um, any hacker um, got into your root account, then they could destroy all your databases, which is not good. So what we do is we click add a new user and then create a user account that could access this database. So you can call this anything you want, really, the username. So in this case, I'm just going to call it um, WordPress demo. The host, in this case, uh, because we are using a local server, obviously, if you're looking at this through a remote server, you don't need to touch this. But for our, for our case, because this is a local server, we want to limit to um, access using our computers only. So we leave it to local host. And then for the password, just type in the password, anything you want, really. Okay, so now again, remember that these are the information that WordPress will need in order to install itself. And so you, it's a good idea to just jot down what the username and password are. Obviously, don't write down the password. 
right? But in this case, I don't mind because this is a demo and I'll be deleting this soon. So the password here is, what did I put? Um, it was, right, demo pass. Okay. Now the second step is to scroll down and you will see a box that's called database for users. Make sure that the last option is selected, which is to grant all privileges on database with whatever name this is called. So in this case, just short uh, diff name. Okay. And then after that, uh, leave the rest of this unchecked and click on go. Oops, I messed up. <laughs> I already created a username with that. So hit go. Okay, so you can see that uh, it should tell you you have successfully added a new user with a green check mark or something with a green box. And this is all you need to do to set up a new database for um, WordPress. Now the next step we need to work on is WordPress itself. So if you would uh, go to their website, so if you Google WordPress, and then go to wordpress.org. I need you to download their latest version, which is WordPress 2.9.2. So click, just click on download to um, download the zip file. So I've already done that. And it's folder sitting right there. Okay. So what you need to do is to find your um, htdoc folder or your www folder uh, where your local server keeps its files. So if, we, if you remember, this is found under applications, um, mmp, or, um, and the folder here is htdocs. Now what you need to do is just grab that WordPress folder and dump it into htdocs. So again, if you're on a Windows machine, dump it into www. And if you are on a remote host, we'll just upload it onto your server somewhere. Okay, so now that this is in, we could go back to our browser and check to see whether this works or not. Okay, so to do that, the easiest way is, actually, I'm just gonna close out of this. The easiest way is just to go to your, um, address bar and just type. So now again for Max, your local host is through the port 8888. So remember it's local host, uh, local host with a colon 8888 and then type in the name of your folder. It's called WordPress and you will hit this page and it will say there doesn't seem to be a wordpress-config.php file. Okay, so for a Windows machine, it's a little bit different. Remember what I told you? It's just called localhost. Obviously, this is not going to work here, but if you are on a Windows machine, this is the URL you need. Okay, now in terms of the folder name WordPress, you could go in and change it to whatever you want, essentially, just by going here and renaming the folder to whatever your site is called in case you don't want to call it WordPress. Okay, so now it tells me that there doesn't seem to be a file, so maybe we should create the config file. Well, in order to get more um, flexibility, um, instead of using their their um, version of uh, configure file create creation uh, tool, we will go in and manually change the file itself. So what we do is we go back to Finder, our folder. Oopsie, let me just find my folder here. Right, we are looking for a file called uh, wp-config-sample. This is the file we want to open, okay? So yeah, it's saying it's telling me it's just on the internet. So I'm just going to open that. All right, so this is a sample file in which we could edit in order to turn it into a config file. So the first 